everybody, welcome to the Golf Swing Gazette. This week I wanted to go over a little something called compression and how you compress the golf ball. It's, uh, this is taken from one of my lessons here just the other day in an interesting discussion I had with a player. Good player, very high speed player. But I said to him, I go, to you, steeper probably feels safer. Now, what I was meaning was that the harder he felt, like the harder he hit the ground, the safer it was going to go, I mean, the straighter it was going to go, and the safer the miss was. Well, that's incorrect. As we know, we always talk about shallowing the club and stuff like that. And a lot of people, I feel like they feel they have to hit the ground really hard to compress the golf ball. Well, you're not compressing the golf ball if you're hitting the ground really hard. What you're doing is actually compressing the ground. And in some form, compressing the golf ball into the ground, therefore creating a very unstable spin profile. You'll see some weird squirrely shots at that point, especially if you're playing it at a high speeds. So compression of the golf ball is actually defined by TrackMan would be a shallower angle of attack coupled with a, angle, a dynamic loft, so the loft of your golf club at impact, that's stronger than what, a, what it's stated. So a slightly closed or hooded club face with a shallow angle of attack, that is compression. Not how hard you can hit the ground and not how hard you can hit the ball into the ground. Where this gets really bad is in the driver. Why Scott and I and just about everybody else will say tee it up, the higher the better, and that's because we don't want you going down into it. We don't want that steep angle of attack. So AOA and dynamic loft usually equals spin loft, and that is the compression of the golf ball, not how hard you can hit the ground or how deep you can take a divot. Divots are made to be shallow, and as Rob Kick just drives by, he's going to be very happy that I'm sending this uh, video out. So shallow, long divots, or as I say on Zoysia especially, skid marks are better than holes. So just skimming the ground, that shallower AOA, little hooded club face, boom, you got compression. It's not when it goes into the ground. Hope everybody had a good holiday weekend. See you next week.